Hello guys, today we will look at a real life problem which many ISP.NET MVC developers are facing. That's a necessity to create a custom model binder. So basically guys, what is model binder into words? It's a special component of ISP.NET MVC which binds data returned by get or post request into a physical object in your server side. And the default binder does quite a good job and in uh, most of the cases uh, it's sufficient. But there are situations when we really need to think about some custom binding logic and I will show you today real life example. So uh, I have here test application which I created out of standard web application, ISP.NET uh, MVC application and here I created test controller everything what it can just to show a list of uh, of uh, persons basically I created a model test model and called it test view model and test view model contains some ID first name, last name, so imagine that's some person, virtual person and the list of addresses and address that's an object which implements interface I address with only one property address one and in between, between uh, interface and the uh, object also there is some intermediate object base yeah, address doesn't matter how it's called uh, yeah so for now we don't need this properties like that we will need them the later stage so let's command them out yeah so address inherits from base address and base address just implements i address interface so so far so good and our test uh, controller contains only edit method which gets out of some test repository which in our case is just static class which returns, returns static list of test view models first name, last name and the list of addresses uh, so it returns it and here is most important when we will face the problem is the edit method HTTP POST so when we are posting form uh, back we return here uh, test view model and the task of filling that object is uh, accomplished with in our case standard default model binder so let's quickly look at um, uh, view we have here edit view and here is just uh, some div for first name, for last name and in for loop editor for addresses and for addresses for address object I created uh, in editor templates editor uh, address uh, template so that one will be used when we say editor for address yeah I hope guys you are familiar already with that and uh, let's run our application and see if everything works as expected and it should just believe me it should work yeah nothing here nothing fancy our default model binder knows how to bind all properties okay 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 let's just run um, that was because I because I, I run application from template. Okay, here we have an index, and let's click just on edit. And here is our edit uh, page. And here we have two addresses. And when we modify one of them, or even whatever, let's modify them. Click save, and on save. You see, it's updated. Everything perfect everything is fine so now 
let's imagine that um, we have decided that that one uh, that our test view model will still contain list of addresses but in this case it will be list of i address so we will inherit from interface why because we decided to implement second type of address and this second type of address will be let's say let's call it business address yeah it also inherits from base address implements address one property and just adds one more zip code so now in home controller uh, in test controller what we will do so now it's already a list of i addresses yeah and now let's make our first for our first row second entity in addresses uh, collection not just address but business address let's have it zip code let's say one two three four five and run the application so now what happens when we render that form and we see it has no problem to render it because it knows exactly it knows exactly which type of address yeah and of course i forgot to say that we have here a second editor template for business address yeah so now it knows how to render uh, usual address and business address that's why it's perfectly everything rendered but now when we post form back on save watch what happens guys it crashes why it says cannot create an instance of an interface so why it happens because when we return data back into uh, test controller it sees yeah so this method is called edit it sees that we try to bind to object of test view model and test view model contains list of uh, addresses of type list i address so default model binder has no idea what type of object we expect here so what is, what is i address is that address or is that is that uh, business address what's that and the full mod model binder of course cannot figure out because that's already new request new uh, context and of course it crashes with that example with that uh, exception and now we have a necessity to create a custom model binder so special model binder which will know how to deal with uh, I add with uh, I address uh, object of type I address. So for that, I created a custom model address model binder, yeah, which inherits from default model binder and overrides one method create model. And what inside is it's doing? It's taken uh, from context, from binding context, which contains all properties, all fields returned. It, can, it takes a property with a name, class name, an assembly name, second property assembly name, and then it tries to get its values of these two properties, class name, assembly name, and then it creates a type, yeah, dynamically, and then time it creates a type generated out of these two properties, class name, assembly name, and then using reflection, it creates, it creates an instance of that type, which we dynamically uh, created here. 
and here important it sets model metadata so all those values which we uh, which were sent and sends to and, and it sets it to that our newly created by reflection instance so this code what it says us it says that we need two properties class name and assembly name to be returned so our model binder custom model binder knows object of which type it needs to create and then what we are doing with that address model binder we're creating some special uh, object i call it custom model binder provider which inherits from implements interface i model binder provider and here in method get binder i write that if type which we try to bind is assignable from i address then we use address model binder in all other cases default model binder will be used and now we need to register our new custom model binder provider and how to do that we are doing that in global asx file and here we say model binder providers binder providers add an our new custom model binder provider with all that said we need in our test view model we need two properties which will come even from level of interface yeah yeah of course without visibility modifiers and here every time when we create object of a class address or business address since it inherits from base address in constructor in base constructor we will set these two properties and class name we will get from current time dot full name and assembly name from uh, current type assembly dot full name so and now every time when we create object of our classes yeah address or business address also these two properties will be filled with correct runtime information about that classes so it means that now we need to modify our address uh, view let's put hidden field for that our class name and second hidden field for what happens <laughs> okay assembly i will type it my intelligent doesn't want to give it me to me uh, and we need to copy paste it of course also on level of business address address fine let's build and now with all that said let's run application and um, now we'll inspect so let's open let's inspect now that object click f12 open developer tools click uh, 
untersuchen, ja, yeah, German version. And here we see, so it's uh, inspect element in English version. And here we see that we have hidden uh, uh, fields which contain value of uh, class name and assembly name for first and for second objects. And now, when we modify, yeah, let's say, whatever values, save, and what do you see, guys? It simply works. It works. Why? And we already know why. Because now we have custom access model binder. We provide correct information about class which should be created in our a custom model binder. Based on information about class, we create an object of, the, of that class and assigning metadata to that class so we can correctly bind all properties to known uh, type already. So that was, guys, solution to uh, quite a common problem which occurs when we need to create a list of some generic type and the default model binder cannot cope with that task. Thank you for being with me until the end. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.